Hopefully we only pull one. Tell me. Why don't you guys as back you up Uh, it pulls the blights anyways. Well, at least this one. Okay. So, without hesitation, pull this. Here. Pass this. Mark. This cave grub. This on this cave grub. Okay. Drop the dog. Go after this thing. Back here. It's not exactly my area of expertise. Apparently not. Okay. The dog and the dragon help. Go kill your pet. Run up here and drop this. This on him. Oh, pull them. Not exactly my area of expertise. All back, guys. I think I've lost control of him somehow. Combat focus. Okay. Have a lot of this, so start dropping it on. Wow, I don't know what they did to him, but they messed him up. Okay, second blight. Let's go ahead and mark him. I really hope there's a way out. Glory <laughs> like we have plenty of food, so getting out of here may just be a matter of patience.
What are they doing that's causing them to hurt people? On spikes. It must be really messing my dudes up. It is. Man, being stuck in the old city kind of sucks. We have a lot of potions, too. I don't think I'm taking advantage of the potions as much as I need to. Glowing purple spores come away on your hand. I just thought about that. I'm, like, not using potions at all. And I've got a bunch. Maybe not a bunch, but enough that I probably could have swayed a couple of the fights that I've been stuck in. A little faster than what has been going on. Absolutely chock full right now. Defense mode. This. Okay, since that thing died, drop it on the cave bat. What are you attacking? Drop this creature. You drop an arrow into this creature. You guys in the back line go after this cave bat. Keep attacking. Are you, you, like you help the cave, help the cave bat? Cool, cave bat dead. Now you guys go here. Actually helping this. Pop this to save the line. Ooh, that reduced healing. Kinda hurt. Okay, so we lost the line again. Go for the screecher. That one's dead. Yep. You have way too much. They'll have way too much. Yeah. 
I don't know what he's doing. Wow. Absolutely messed up most of them. Okay. I just want to pick this up. Yes. Will my eyes be open? Man. I'll take care of this. I wish we could go back and find the guard who lifted the cage and just beat the crap out of him. Just absolutely wallop him. Don't kill him. Just beat the crap out of him. And then, you know, like, we'll play the game for a little bit, come back, and then we'll beat the crap out of him again. And then, like, we'll change up how many days. Maybe we wait one day. Maybe we wait five days. Maybe we wait a month. Right? Make him feel like we're done beating him up. But no, we get, we come back and we, we put him down. So every day he thinks about the time he trapped us in a dungeon. Now, did we break the rules by staying here for more than half a day? We did. We did. But we're also the heroes of our story right now. And I don't appreciate being stuck in this dungeon. Not drop the trap. Oh, whatever, just pull him. Yeah. And there's more. And at this difficulty, they just pile them in rooms. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take some, uh, six, seven, 18 bats in one room. You know, present a little bit of a challenge. Drop that there. What are you attacking? You're attacking the scoundrel. Yeah, let's go ahead and mark this thing. Back up a little bit. Let's go. Shoot. Okay. Enough for that. Go and drop your shield. It looks like you have aggro of everybody. Do this too. Everyone, go for this guy. What can I do you for? Heal everyone. Did that thing die yet? Close. Okay. Do this K bat. Now this little brick. You, sir, are taking a lot of damage, and I don't know why. Oh, was that an interrupt? That was, wasn't it? Lame.
Underneath the rubble, a mural depict two conch rising from the waves. Okay, well I have one. Need to go up and get the second one. You should see this. I can see it. God, is this a way out? It's the way. I have found an exit. Undercroft. I found the Undercroft. Nice. Not the exit that I thought I was getting, but the one I wanted from earlier. So yeah, all of this totally planned. Definitely knew where I was going. Definitely wasn't stuck down here. I I was like, oh, I'll just I'll just work my way to the Undercroft. Yep. Absolutely what I meant to do this whole time. So good at planning things. See you, Dargle. Yeah. There with your ugly haircut. Alright. I'm gonna actually have you guys over here. Yeah. I want you to throw an arrow into this stupid thing. No, 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 no. You guys stay back. You guys are here. Ranger is the one we're sacrificing here. We got Ranger, run faster. Here goes my tank. It's all right. Do I? Because I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight. Put down your shield. Get ready to fight for your life. I'll be there in a minute. You have the ability to jump. Pick up your shield. Jump over here. No. Oh my god. I'm stuck. It's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. Sometimes I panic, but it doesn't help. Where can you see? You can see here. Jump here. Okay. Run to the party. Indeed. here you are going to drop this okay then you sir so you're gonna wait I'm not dropping that on the wraith you will mark the wraith Okay, 
heal your pet again. Oh man. Oh, how do I stop them from doing what they're about to do? Yeah, good. You go here. Come here. You don't do that. No. She's gonna have to go in there. Okay. Drop this. Um. Alright. Run up here. I hear you. Drop another healing circle. Another one of these. Attack this guy. I need your cloud of doom. Right here. Right there. I don't know why I call him Rock Gut. It's a game about pirates. Rock Gut's a thing. No, oh, get that stupid battery down. Those are the worst. Gladly. All right, lads and lattices. Oh, there was. What the heck? We get it. I'll handle this. The engraving honors the life of a hero of old. Cool. Cool. That's how to get into the old city that way. Super curious to where this goes. My guess is it goes to that other part that was too hard for me to deal with. It is. Alright. So we have two ways of getting here. I'll come back here, like, in a level or two and take another shot at that mob. Okay. Now, go here. This is where I needed to go in the first place. See this section up here? I'm just gonna let it go. Assume this breaks off here. 
we come back, we can always hit it. You must gather your party before venturing forth. A deep blue choppy watered cove spans before you, widening down a cavern that leads eventually to the open sea. Waves clap against the ramshackle docks and the breath that fills your lungs is tinged with salt. Shouts from rowdy sailors pepper the air like bucket or buckshots. Deckhands lumber across the water beaten docks, ready and waiting, watching the waves that royal of royal the cove. Um uh, creep closer. Coarse rocks grind beneath your feet, slick enough to slow your approach. You peer close for a better view. Then that Juano water shapers, as denoted by the robes, stride the length of the dock. Arms sweeping, limbs moving, they swirl the turbulent tides in a calm, direct current. For a moment, the cove falls still and silent, as if caught in a collective bated breath. And slowly, a slew of black varnished dinghies sail lowered row steadily into the bay. The sailors whoop, shouting a jumble of body greeting mixed with the commands for docking and unloading the wares. The ship lurches against the wharf and are emptied of crates after unmarked crate almost immediately. Operation is efficient and quick. With a shrill whistle, a dwarven woman emerges from the squat fort jutting from the eastern side of the cavern. Twice more she whistles before the water shapers reverse the bay current and the ships are swept gently out of sight back to the sea. The sun and half at me, Cap. Damn near wets the eyes. He grins, his furry blue chest puffed out. Do I need my water shaper for this? Yeah, well, I need to go. Nope. He needs to be here. And he is. Cool. Renegade water shapers. Hey guys. I can't. It's feeling. Getting a little like frame skips every once in a while, and I'm not sure why. Not terrible. It's just like every once in a while. Leave it to me. Like right there. Not happening tonight. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to get in trouble. They're just pirates. Okay, so that other way was a shortcut. Obviously. Hold it right there, mate. The pirate stares you down, hands clutch the hilt of his sword, his arms roped with muscles and straight with pale scars. State your business. I mean it. Spill your guts or spill your blood. I'm here on behalf of Captain Eldis. If you've come to see me, Marina, God shield your soul. He swipes the colors to point at the squat fort along the eastern lip of the cavern. Far be it from me to be stopping your march into death. Captain's there, and she's in a fit of a mood, so step lightly, I. The captain of the Tidebreaker stands stiff back before you, looming despite her lack of height. Her hard muscle legs spread solidly apart, and she splays thick, calloused hands over her hips. 
She regards you with a heavy gaze, her chin tipped high. And who or what do we have here? Some dude walking around. Stubby fingers grind impatiently towards the flintlock tucked into her belt. Where I see it, you've got two options. You can tell me who sent you, or I can feed you the shaft of my gun. I <laughs> took a wrong turn, that's all. I've come to assist you as a favor to Captain Eldis. She always has the most lovely and interesting awesome. sorts vying for her attention. Suppose me and you ain't so different in that regard. Yes, not. Man Morena grins wolfishly all tea. Say I happen to have a fella wanting for a full shipment of crude luminous Ardra, but I have no Ardra to sell. Loot me no less than three crates, and I'll be, let's say, better inclined to do you a favor. Okay. If you're a particularly daring sort, you might snatch it from under their noses. I am. Them valiant trading princox have a stockpile of it in their mill in Queen's Berth. Got it. Otherwise, you could raid them in shallow waters as they ship it in. Uh, best make room for a shipment of Luminous Audra, then. The captain smiles wickedly, a mad cast darkening her features. Well, regale me. You know Dario? Of course. He's my landlubbery contact in the gullet. Once, he was a master sailmaker. Lots of Principe crews vied for him, but he lost his footing in the rigging one day. And after that? It's a mistake sailors make only once. He shattered both legs. It was Elia's mercy that he broke nothing more. But after that, he lost his taste for the sea. Know what makes you a pirate, Lafsom? Um, I'll bet you're going to tell me. Sailing. It's sailing what makes you a right pirate. Sure, plundering too, but leave the seas and you leave the principal. I see. I hope you do, Lapsom. Why would I just punch her in the mouth? I'll be on my way. so random just like punch her in the mouth <laughs> I'm doing okay on the mechanics so let's give another to stealth to make sure you can just sneak it right in there all right a little bit more diplomacy defense but that's for aoe what is this that's heightened yep yeah he needs he needs health he keeps getting stuck on the front line but what about these abilities ranger strikes in melee like an apex predator i don't need that range targets the enemy head interrupts them that could be cool Party inspiration. Upgrades a animal companion. I mean, these are both great and all, but he needs more health. I kinda need this too. But that'll come later, I guess. All the animal companions side, nimble operation, causing them to move quickly. Yeah, we'll just go with what I got. Alright, I get another weapon. Um let's give him the cutlass. 
because we have some really good ones. And we need like slashing damage. Sword saver. I guess it'd be saver. Yeah. That'll be fun. I lost my friend. What are we doing with you? Uh, Ridiculous Arcana. Or give him a little bit more history. Spell back. Works. All right, I'm going to give you Mace. We need a crushing damage. Person. Yep. You Alchemy. Yep. Magic history, religion. The only one with religion. Well, we have more religion, but let's let's get it to ten. Okay. We don't need gain penetration with that. We do need this. Good on everything. The spawn it blows would be cool. Keep forgetting to use Balthorn. I don't. So this would be really good to put on the lion who keeps going down. Okay. She has shield, hatchet, has a wand. I don't know what else would she need. Just give her a quarter staff. Very surprised. Yeah, that we only have like a fine bow for him right now. Or like we don't have a better war bow for him at this point. That's something I should really look for when we find another vendor. fine with this. Okay. 
can't afford to upgrade it right now. We need to find a vendor anyways to sell some of this vendor trash. So we have a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but enough. Alright, cool. So... How do we get out of here? I shall. Look at this. I shall be discreet. That's pretty good, huh? I'll do a quick save just in case I get caught. Fine, blender bus. Oh, nice. Gladly. What I actually want to do is I want to go to my tank. And we're going to grab that fine blunderbuss, and we are going to give it to you. There you go. I just wanted to make sure he has, she has, like, even though the blunderbusses aren't that great of range, I just want her to have some type of range. I'll handle this. There's that. Let's go check this area out real quick. There's this area too. Just wanna make sure I explored everything. my words, huh? Delver's Row. Let's go up to Delver's Row. Exactly where this takes me. Delver's Row has plenty to offer, but it's that way. He extends a well manicured finger to point over his shoulder. His other hand rests on the hilt of his weapon. I'm here on behalf of Captain Eldis. Recognition flashes in his eyes. My mistake. Please. He steps out of your path, sending a delicate hand towards the lift. Grizzled old Ama woman looks like she's been left in the sun dr to dry. Her skin is so worn and weathered, it's hard to tell her wrinkles from her scars. You need a blade or a bludgeon or some sturdy armor? Umani has what you seek. The old woman gives you a grin that multiplies the wrinkles in her face. Old Umani stuff is tested in the hands and throats of the fiercest sorts in the gully. Never will you find a better selection. Wait. 
All right, the Undying Burden. Plus one to athletics. Coming weapon damage is reduced as health is lost. Interesting. Plus the two to constitution. Rapier, find Morningstar. Yeah, she's got some okay stuff. It's just okay though. Right. No, I want to keep one of these. I really want to get rid of right now. Not really. I like to have like options just in case. Okay. Really, nothing I need from her right now. So we'll just do this trade. Uh, let's get rid of this crap too. It isn't fine, I don't want it. Except for that, that one looks cool. Got a little money in our pockets. You are looking for something, I need to. Perhaps I Ernezza has not seen you before. You must be new. I am new. New or very good at disguises. <laughs> Mantles. He peers at you through a half moon spectacles. His face is hidden behind a thick but well groomed beard, and his eyes constantly dart between you and the doorway. Huh. But you are the one the Ropiros speak of. They are most fond of you, but not so discreet. He waggles a finger. But how did you hear about this place? Wait, no. Do not tell me. Sometimes it is better not to know. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. He leans in. Of course. Only do not tell anyone where you go. He's asking for supplies. Okay, I see these are a little bit more my what I'm looking for right now. So you do have a fine war bow. That is excellent news. Excellent. What the hell is this? You could probably give that to Seraphin. Exceptional war bow, but that's six grand. We let's just do a fine war bow. Sweet. Thank you, sir. We're still kind of poor in this game. Very good. Very, very good. Several paintings look identical down to the signature copied in the right corner. Or the corner. I don't know where I got right from, but I did. Street Merchant. Looking for something to sharpen the senses to help you leave your sorrows behind? I'll go what you need. Let me see what you have. Huh. Alright, so he's got snuff and all that stuff. Okay. 
Heard of whispers and footsteps rise from the lower streets. I thought that was water down there. That's just a creepy street. An Orlin woman stands over a table laden with herbs and spices. She mixes them without looking at her work, pausing now and then to raise a sprig or a phial to her nose. You realize she is blind. It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Or perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a stronger bite. She swivels her ears, but her cloudy eyes do not find you. Uh, what do you sell? Food, of course, and supplies for the road. Though, most here come to me for poisons and venoms. I need supplies. I have plenty. Though, if you're buying poison and ailment, mind you store them separate. Okay, so this is actually food food. Okay, we don't actually need it. Uh, no, we don't. Actually, have a hook shot and rope right now. Or hook and rope. Okay, so this will take you into the narrows. Oh, what's up, Haxwell? Very cool. <laughs> it's a good idea. Because I am poor right now. I'm just kind of like doing quests to see if I could get there, but uh, I got stuck. Got stuck in the old city. Then I found my way out. What is this kith creature? The Vitharak cocks its head and focuses its many eyes on you. Strange companions also stare at you with unnatural intensity. Ugh, it's making my skin crawl. What secrets does it bring? You feel a gentle scratching in your head. Another voice speaks directly into your mind. Let us see. Let us see. The Vithrak clicks its claws together in delight. Keep your weather eye open, Cap. A fork probe ain't much to worry over, but I'll be a two-headed ogre if that's the only trick up them silk sleeves. Stephen scourges the knives of the Vithric. Or Seraphin. Where did that name come from? Meanwhile, the Vithric scrabbles and slithers deep into your mind. Let's talk instead. Why don't you ask me what you want to know? The language of tongues is a dull, tedious thing. Depths its mandibles together. Why ask when you can see for yourself? I mean, that's a good idea. Yeah, I would have no moral dilemma of fighting slavers. The Vedic Thrak reaches further into your mind, plucking and picking at your memories. A watcher, the deerwood, the untamed wilds of the living lands. I'll wait. A death, a life, a wide sea, stirred by storms and pirates and... Aethos' giant glowing head surfaces in your mind. Ah, a wonderful secret. You hear the Vithrak clack and rub its mandibles together. It reminds you of a glutton licking his lips. I don't trust this creature at all. He eyes the Vithrak and looks towards the exit. The creature probing sight traces a question in your mind. The strange companion stands perfectly still waiting. What are you doing in the gullet? We dig. There are many mines here with many secrets, many depths with even more. A city under a city. Another in the ruins. Oh, we're out. So, like, you could just go up to the ship, intimidate them, and get their money? It teems with young secrets. Rivalries and betrayals. That might be something I do. We seek the older secrets, buried deeper and carved on weathered stone. 
Your friends, the broken down creatures of this place. They know the old secrets. They know, but they do not tell me. Uh, will you tell me a secret? Yes. You have been generous with us. Ogre nods slowly. There is a place below the slums. Old, cold, and abandoned. Where the city swallows those it wishes forgotten. Yeah, I've been there. But this place was once part of the city. So was its temple. A site holy to the goddess of distant, forgotten things. With eyes gleam. Alright, I need supplies. What do you have? Expensive supplies still. Minus two action speed and damage to attackers for 15 seconds when the wearer is hit in melee. Student mortification, only useful by monks. Grimoires, some potions, okay. Some things to look at later. Okay, so they're not well equipped. That's good to know. Another dog. Where does this exit out to? Figure in the shadow looks up as you approach, pressing his lips together in a crooked line. I think you made a wrong turn, Bilger. You don't belong in the row. Uh, the Deems do guess. I know who you are. I make it my bag to keep my eyes on the new fish that end up in the gullet. Rats around here been whispering about you. I'm guessing you're looking to buy some art, yeah? Hmm. He lightly traces a finger across the hilt of an emerald encrusted stiletto hidden within the folds of the dark leather tunic. His narrow eyes seem to dance in the magical light as the gemstone pulsates with the caustic glow. The right half of his mouth ascends menacingly as he dips his head and peers at you from underneath his brow. Um, insight. You're an assassin. You're answered with a thin-lipped scowl as your words echo throughout the alley. Would you be interested in joining my crew? Sorry, Bilger. I work alone. What sort of payment do you require for services? Depends on the craftsmanship required. We don't know each other, so let's keep our dealings within the gullet, yeah? Okay. I'd like you to handle a problem for me. That's Will will side aside, he darts a cautious glance and shoulders straightens, he leans close to you. Go on. Actually, I don't need any murders at the moment. Cool. Okay, so I found an assassin down here. Ellie narrows to a dead end. That's kind of cool. I think my alignment is kind of turning evil-ish because I keep cavorting with pirates. So yeah, I might have to pay for that later, but pirates seem to like me. Go to the gullet. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really working with the Valian crew. I'm working with the other group right now, and the Principia or whatever. I want to call it Principia, but they're calling it like Principia. They're like adding a CH in there. All right. I'm going to have to call it right now. I've got to be up relatively early to go look at my house the final time, and then I have closing a little bit before noon. So I don't know when I'm going to be on next. I'm hoping I'll be back on Saturday night. We'll see. It might be Saturday or Sunday. The next two weeks is going to be kind of weird. I'm buying a house, literally closing on it tomorrow and i will be moving until the 20th and so yeah the 21st i know the night of the 20th i'm not gonna be able to stream and probably the 19th 
uh, but the 21st, I should have my new internet. I got like a gigabyte internet because I can now. So yeah, so I'll be on and off next week, but hopefully like after the 21st, I'll be able to get my nightly schedule of playing around 7 to 8 p.m. to, you know, 10 to midnight, depending on how I'm feeling. But um, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for everyone for hanging out. Uh, I should be discreet. Let me name one second. Um, Cap Drago, thanks again for the raid. I do appreciate it. Nugget, thanks for hanging out. And Haxwell, dude, thanks for the advice. I might, I'm going to check on the slaver things. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it there. For